down to the Admirals locker room right now. Admirals head coach Carl Taylor joining us. Coach, uh, that was something for everyone there tonight except for an Admirals win. Yeah, it's disappointing, uh, but I thought our guys, we got down to 4D with 40 minutes left. That's a very, uh, that's a big task to ask of those four guys. And uh, I thought our group and our team battled hard to give ourselves a chance in the end. And uh, real gutty effort from those, uh, the decor that were still in the game to support the efforts of uh, their teammates coming together and standing up for themselves and making a stand for uh, what we're going to stand for here in, uh, as a Milwaukee Admiral. That happened so early in the second period. As you mentioned, it was 40 minutes with four defensemen. How do you address that? Do you go into the locker room and try to devise a plan to ask maybe uh, a Joe Pendenza or a Freddie Gaudreau or somebody to play and, and spot in at D? Or how did you guys deal with it? Yeah, we just asked if anybody, you know, you have an idea who's done a little bit of it before just in case. And you have a plan in place. But, uh, you know, Snyder's is good, uh, a, a smart player. He can go back there and manage the puck a little bit. Um, so we didn't have to go there. The guys managed it well. Uh, I think in the end, it's just a situation you try to deal with and you make sure your forwards are above and responsible. It takes away from your forward check a little bit because your D can't play as uh, get up on, lean on wingers and slam walls as much as we'd like to. Uh, but that's just the way it is. So we had to play uh, a smarter game and then hopefully try to get one on the special teams. We were fortunate enough to get one to tie it. Yeah, that being said, what you just said about you got to be a little smarter and not push. You guys still pushed. You were still able to figure out a way to do it. And it's hard to tell players not to do it when they're accustomed to doing it. Yeah, no question. And uh, after the, uh, you know, the little uh, uh, brouhaha we had there, I thought our team took the game over, played really hard. It energized us. Uh, we wanted to support the guys who were standing up for uh, uh, the other players on our team. And our, our team really responded well. I thought there were some really good things in the game that uh, moving forward is going to help us as a team. And uh, even though we're disappointed uh, not getting the extra point, uh, there's lots of things that we got uh, some uh, extra notches on our belt that's going to help us down the road. Last night, I, I mentioned to you in the pregame, last night I, it didn't look to me like Laurent Dauphin had played his first game. It, it looked like he'd been around for a little bit, and tonight uh, even more so. I thought he was really good for you tonight. Yeah, you know what? All the guys stepped up. Eh? We lost uh, Matty when he got sure. kicked out of the game there, and so we were rolling. I don't know how many line combinations I had going, but there was a lot. Uh, but we were trying to find something at times and giving guys different opportunities. Uh, I thought the group handled it very well, and I thought Finner played well. He's doing a good job on face-offs, and if you do that around here, ask Tyler Goddad how much ice he got last <laughs> year because of face-offs. So uh, he's really grabbed that after us struggling for a few games, and uh, that's going to earn him more ice time for sure. And it's nice to have a player the ilk of Daniel Carr on the, on the ice for your team. Well, what can you say about him? First game back, late travel. Um, you can see why he led the league in scoring was a playoff MVP. He's just a, uh, he's a very good player who who plays gritty. Like, he's not a guy who's on the outside being a perimeter, waiting for things to occur. He's very involved in the game. Dove right in with a, you know, a 10-minute session with uh, Greg Rallo as a coach trying to learn how we play here. Um, he did a great job, and uh, we're excited to have him. You can see uh, how much he's going to add to our team. Tim, how much does tonight's game, the work that your guys had to do, down three guys for 40 minutes in this contest, uh, how much does that weigh into tomorrow's game? And it gets back to, I guess, maybe that you can't tell these guys to turn it off. It's still a hockey game tomorrow. Yeah, it's a challenge, uh, no question. Uh, and if you look at today's game, the other, the other team had to handle the same situation, right? right? So uh, for tonight it was equal. But moving ahead for uh, Sunday's game, uh, Chicago's playing tonight. That's their three, third and three nights as well. So uh, they're dealing with their own situations. And we got some guys uh, that didn't play tonight that are eligible to go in. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. And the positive sign is the guys that got thrown out, they'll be better rested for tomorrow. Indeed, indeed. And you got a point tonight, which is they, they all for count. Sure, they for all sure. count. Coach, thanks for your time. Thank you very much.